Divrei Hayamim Aleph, Chapter 4 The descendants of Yehuda, Peretz, Hezron, Hetzron, Carmi, Hur, and Shobal. Reaya, the son of Shobal, fathered Yachat. Yachat fathered Ahumai and Lahad. These are the families of the Tzorati. These are the sons of the father of Iatam, Yisrael, Yishma, and Yidbash. Their sister's name was Hatzlel Poni. Panuel fathered Gider, and Yizer fathered Husha. These are the sons of Hur, the firstborn of Ephrata, the father of Beit Lechem. Ashur, the father of Tekoa, had two wives, Hila and Naara. Naara bore him Ahuzam, Hefer, Tiamni, and Achashtare. These are the sons of Naara. The sons of Hila were Tezeret, Tezohar, and Etnan. Katz fathered Anuv, Tezov Viva, and the families of Acharkel, the son of Harum. Yabetz was honored more than his brothers. His mother called him Yabetz. She explained, because I bore him in pain, Otsev. Yabetz called on the God of Israel, please bless me by enlarging my territory. May your hand be with me. Keep me from harm so that it will not cause me pain, Atsbi. God granted his request. Kaluv, the, the brother of Shuchach, Shucha fathered Machir, who fathered Eshtan, Eshtan fathered Biet Rafa, Paseach, and Tachina, the father of Ir Nachash. These are the men of Rekha, the sons of Kanaz, Otniel, and Saraya, the son of Otniel, Hatat, Maonatai, fathered Ophrah, and Saraya fathered Yoav, the brother of Gi Harashim, for they were craftsmen, Hebrew Harashim, the sons of Kalev, the son of Yafune, Iru, Elah, and Naam, the sons of Elah, Kanaz, Ephir, and Yal... Oh, Kanaz, yep, the sons of Elah, Kanaz. Verse 16, the sons of Yehalalel, Yehalalel, Zif, Zipha, Tiria, and Asarel, the sons of Ez, Ezra, Yeter, Merid, Ephir, and Yalon. These are the sons of Bitya, the daughter of Pharaoh, whom Merid took as his wife. She conceived Miriam, Shammai, and Yishbach, the father of Eshtmoa, while his Jewish wife bore Yered, the father of Gador, Hever, the father of Soko, and Yakutiel, the father of Zanoach. The sons of the wife of Hodia, the sister of Naham, were the father of Kiela, the Garmi, and Eshtmoa, the Maakati, the sons of Shimon, Amnon, Rina, Ben Hanan, and Tilon, the sons of Yishi, Zochet, and Ben Zochet, the sons of Shila, the son of Yuda, Yehuda, Ur, the father of Leka, Laada, the father of Merasha, and the clans of fine linen workers at Beit Ashbia, Yochim, the men of Koziva, Saraf, the ruler in Moab, and Yeshuvi Lechem, the records are ancient. These were potters and inhabitants of Nataim and Gadara. They lived there, occupied with the king's work. The sons of Shimon, Nemuel, Yamin, Yariv, Zerach, and Shaul. His son was Shalum, his son was Mibsam, and his son was Mishma, the descendants of Mishma, his son Hamuel, his son Zakur, his son Shimi. Shimi had sixteen sons and six daughters, but his brothers did not have many children, so their clans did not increase like those of Yehuda. They lived at Beersheba, Molada, Hatsar Shual, Bilha, Etzem, Tolad, Betuel, Horma, Ziklag, Biet Markavot, Hatzar Susim, Biet Biri, and Sha'arayim. These were their cities until the reign of David. Their villages were Iatam, Ayin, Ramon, Tokhen, and Ashan, five cities, 
along with all the villages surrounding these cities as far as Baal. These are the places where they lived, and they have their official genealogy. Mishovav, Yamlek, Yosha, the son of Amatsia, Yoel, Yehu, the son of Yoshivia, the son of Saraya, the son of Asiel, El Yoianai, Yaakova, Yashohaya, Asaya, Adiel, Yasimiel, Banaya, Ziza, the son of Shifi, the son of Alon, the son of Yadaya, the son of Shimri, the son of Shamaya. These mentioned by name were princes in their clans, and their fathers' houses increased greatly. Seeking pasture for their flocks, they went to the entrance of Gider, as far as the east side of the valley. They found rich, good pastures, and the land was spacious, quiet, and peaceful. Those who had lived there previously belonged to Ham. Those whose names were, are written above came during the time of Hizkiyahu, the king of Yehuda. They attacked their tents, and the Meunim, who were found there, destroyed them completely and have lived there in place of them to this day, because there was pasture there for their flocks. Some five hundred of them were descendants of Shimon. Who were descendants of Shimon went to Mount Seir under the leadership of Palatia, Nearia, Rephaya, and Uziel, the sons of Yishi. They attacked the remnant of Amalek who had escaped and have lived there to this day. End of First Chronicles chapter 4